kids? I feel like it's been a while since I made a YouTube video. You might be able to tell that my hair is getting longer or maybe grayer. I don't know. But anyway, it's been a while. So I was like, what should I make next? Because now I've been seeing you for regular lessons online. So I haven't been making the videos. So what I decided that y'all should know together is scales. Okay. So what I'm going to do now for this lesson is I'm going to show you these three scales. And I'm going to show you for violin, viola, and cello. Bass, you guys are your own special instrument. So I'm not going to put that on this video because it's it's a little bit different, okay? But if you're a bass player and you want to know and you don't know, message me and I will make it happen, okay? All right, so you've got three scales that you can or should know, all right? I'm going to hold up the answers like I did for happy birthday and you can freeze the video and copy this down because these are the scales, okay? And you know from music class that scales are the things that go do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, right? Up and down. And if you play the notes in the right order, um, it will sound like that, which is how you know you're doing it right, okay? So most of you, if not all, know the D scale, D to D, with these notes. G scale, very similar with these notes. And C scale with these notes, which is a little bit different. This is the easiest first one. This one's also easy, but a little different. And then this one's a tiny bit harder, but not bad. I recommend you memorize them. I only wrote them out so when you're home, you can, like, this is what I would write on the whiteboard, you know? So um, I wrote them out. So D scale, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And then you go backwards to come back down. Then G scale starts on your G string. This starts on the D string. G starts on G string. G, A, B, C, not sharp or anything. D, E, F sharp, G, G to G, and then back, da back down backwards. Then <coughs> C scale, if you play viola or cello, and I'm gonna play them all so you can see. If you play viola or cello, you do exactly the same fingering for all three strings. You just start on your C string for C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then backwards back down. If you play violin, you don't have a C string, so you start on C on the G string, which I'll show you, and then you go up to the C on the A string and back down. If you notice, I wrote in when there was a sharp, so if I didn't write any sharps in, it means you have to play it uh, F, not sharp, C, not sharp. So halfway between the tapes, okay? All right, so hopefully you copied this down by now. I'm gonna put this on my stand and then I'm gonna demonstrate them, okay? And here's violin. Okay, violin and viola the same. So D, easiest one, right? And the trick for string instruments is, for violin, viola, and cello, is that it's eight notes. So you do four notes on one string and you go up to the next string and it's the same fingering. So if you memorize it on one string, it's easy to memorize. So if you go D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Same fingering both directions. Same fingering, both strings, right? Um, and then, so that's the D scale, D, E, F sharp. That one's easy, right? I'll do it on viola. Just to make the video shorter, I'm going to do cello playing it last, so I hop, sit down, and then stand back up again. Same exact thing. And if you get to get good at it, you can make up rhythms. on to the G scale is you do the exact same fingering that you just did on the D and the A string to play the D scale. You move it over to the next string. If you start on G, your G string, second lowest or lowest for violin or second lowest for cello, you play the exact same fingering. G to G, I did the same exact fingering, 
I'm gonna come back down. Okay, and then on violin, it's the same thing. You're just doing the moving it all over one string. Your G string just happens to be your lowest string. So that's two out of three. C scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. On the violin, this is the hardest one for the violin, so I'll do that first. Different fingering, but once you get it, you go C to C. So you're starting on C on the G string, third finger, and then you're going all the way up to C on the A string, which is second finger next to first finger. Don't do C sharp. It's not C sharp scale, C scale. Halfway back. And on the D string also, you do your second finger. So you do each one. All right. I'm going to actually play each one four times because it's the easiest way to remember. So you're going to go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C and then you come back down. The fingering is different, but if you just memorize the notes, you got it. And that's the top, don't keep going because it's a C scale, stop on C. Come back down. Okay, so that one's got a different fingering, but if you play the notes you see, that you just wrote down, that you copied down. Don't play any sharps. It should sound like do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now, for the viola, it's actually much easier because you did the D scale. Then you moved it over a string and you did the G scale. And to do it as a C scale, you just move it over to your, you have an extra string, your C string. So you do exactly the same thing. So you went C, C string, to C, third finger on the G string, and you do the same fingering. And if you're in third grade and you play viola and you haven't gotten to the C string yet, you could still do it, even if you're not quite sure what they're called, as long as you do the right fingering. because it's all the same fingering you just start on the correct string okay and then if you play the cello it's the same as the viola you're just doing it with cello fingering so I'm gonna lower it all down here here we go okay so for the cello here we go D scale you know same fingering start on D go to A you play D E F sharp G right with your third finger <laughs> G scale, you just move it over. You do the whole thing you just did on the D string, move it over to the G string. Same thing. Just play the same exact finger pattern. G to G. You just went up to the G on the D string. Then you come back down. the whole thing over to your C string, even if you don't know what your notes are called, and you play the exact same finger pattern, you're going C to C. And you skip, remember for the cello, for those, you're skipping your second finger. If you notice, you use no fingers, one, 
and then you go to third finger and then fourth finger. Don't do your three or don't do your two. Okay, so that's a quick tutorial on three fun scales and they're super fun if you get good at them. You can totally mess around with those. So have fun because we'll play those a bunch next year together and if y'all learn them ahead of time then you know three scales which is awesome. All right, you guys, that's it for me. Have a good day. Bye.